No time in any war, conflict, battle, whatever you want to call it, is the same. There's always surreal moments. There's always something different. It's never, ever gone to plan. Never, ever. You know, it, it goes to plan in terms of we've got the right result. But what we, each stage we plan for, out the window. Normally, from the moment you give a step off the helicopter, step out of your vehicle, parachute into the, into the place, everything changes. Communications will always go down. It just happens. So now you've got to think on your feet. It's visual all the time, visual and verbal, keeping control of things. Yeah, I, I enjoyed the challenges. I enjoyed it, you know. I didn't enjoy what the situation was, people getting killed, but I enjoyed having to think and, and come up with a solution that's for the better. One of the things we, the British militia wasn't good at was decompression. You know, you go to, you go to a war conflict and the tempo's massive, as you can mean. The work rate is massive. There is no finish line. You don't know when this is going to end because you don't know where it's going to go. You don't really know what's going to come around the next corner and what's going to co confront you next. Like I say, you plan for everything, but be prepared for the unexpected. And you always get that. So you kind of tuned into that, you tune into that fear, to that environment, and you get on with it. And then what we used to do, you come home and you go straight back into supposedly normal life. Well, that's difficult when, you know, you may have lost people or you may have seen this or you may have seen that and you've got this crazy aggressive mentality in your head and you get home and then you, you kind of you haven't had time to decompress it and let it calm down and okay put that to bed now you straight into supposedly another life it's, we binge life we binge this craziness straight into binge normality and we don't get the time to you know filter the badness or the, the aggressive bit out and straight into it towards the latter end i was kind of doing a bit of moonlighting trying to find my feet, what, what can I do next? And a good friend of mine was running a security company that predominantly looked after A-list celebrities. And he just says, hey, would you be interested in helping me out on a few little jobs? I says, let me have a look at it. And I think the first one was Tom Cruise. I jumped on a plane, went over to Rome, met Tom, chatted with him, and it's like I knew him forever. I told him what I wanted to do in terms of security. He told me what he wanted to do, and we had a mutual agreement. And what I found was the skill sets that I'd had 20 odd years plus with the military, I just had to relate that to civilian street, you know, and what that really meant was back off a bit. It's not aggressive. The only thing shooting at me now is a camera, not a gun. So back off, calm down. And it, that was a little bit weird. In the military, you train, train, train to get into the SAS. Then when you get into the S SAS, you spend the rest of your life denying it. 